Abilena or Salson's Painted Pawnee was not in my little list of select horses, but she was the one I ended up buying and I wouldn't trade her for anything. She was a wily little thing and I, I put her in my indoor arena and basically let her eat, sleep and drink right there while I was training. And that first day, so I had one of my other mares I got on, just kind of give her a little confidence and let her mother up to her a little bit. And I'd step off and she'd run to the end of the arena. I think I roped her to catch her the first day and then I was saddling her by the end of the day. So she just, she kind of came around. And then when I went to get on her, I didn't know what I'd get. And when I got up on top of her, she was like, you're meant to be here. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so we just kind of hit it off from day one. I could tell she was kind of special. Yeah. My background is starting colts and ranch horses. I do a lot with trail riding horses. And the performance horse industry is a whole new thing for me. So it's been a big goal of mine and I'm super excited to be on my way to my first big cow horse show. Open up your left hand just a little bit more, Taylor, so she's What's got that? a spot. Open up your left hand just a little bit more so she can lead around there a little bit okay. softer. There you go. <laughs> I met Taylor yep. at the two-day colt starting events. I judged him, and we kind of built a relationship from there, and he wanted to get one of these fillies, and I said, sounds like a good idea, and then I get a phone call that, hey, I got one. Now what do I do? <laughs> so I've been happy to help him get on this journey. That's her one tricky spot. Yeah. She's so smart. <laughs> she anticipates right? everything. She's like, oh, we're counter So yeah, so we're rather than chance. starting right off in your counter canter in the counter bend, Bend that head to the inside, let her get that body started around. And remember, you want to arc that body with that inside leg as you're in that counter canter, mm -hmm. even though you're going to be over here, and then come back to that shoulder in that arc. Aside from me just having to learn and, and get better at the performance aspects of her training, Abilene has taught me tons. For one, just because she's got so much heart and so much try and so much willingness and she's also kind of hard-headed, you, you have to have that partnership effect in place and she's kind of made that really, really apparent. And I've worked Mustangs before, so I know it's very important to make that connection and have that partnership going. Then I'm going to have her in training for the whole year till Reno uh, comes back around in September. And that's been a big thing for me to learn that now that I'm stepping into the performance horse world, it's not necessarily something new every single day, like starting a colt. I had done everything that was in my comfort zone, and then I realized, wow, I'm, I'm done colt starting. Now I've got to make a performance horse. Taylor has such a strong worth ethic that I think probably one of the hardest things was teaching him when to quit, when to just slow down and stop for the day, and then, and then do less in smaller bursts. It's kind of helped my horsemanship because I haven't really done the yeah. performance level training. And so when, you know, Kyle's coaching me through working on a spin or stop or whatever, it's helped me go on some of my well-bred quarter horses and stuff and go, wow, this is a whole lot easier. It's been super fun. The turnaround's been our biggest thing. And I've, I've struggled with it before, so I kind of come on to this project and we're having to work on a reigning turnaround and have them turn good on a cow, two different things. So that's been like something huge that we've gotten to work through and it's coming along. She's got tons of try, tons of try. She never quit. She's pretty athletic for most of the Mustangs that I've gotten to ride. I mean, she's tough as nails. First 30, 60 days, I got her out on the trail quite a bit and she's been on some three four hour rides keeps them happier if you change it up every now and then that's kind of the other part of my goal with her just make sure she's good all around using horse <laughs> now i think we're done <laughs> good job She went better than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> I'm going to buy you pizza for that one. One thing about it, when he's done, she'll be good and gentle and safe and broke. She'll do, she'll do so many things. Yeah, roping the dummy, that's easy. Carrying the dummy, now that's... <laughs>
I think her mind is what's going to get her there because so far she showed that if, if we slow down and we make the right steps with her that she's learned to do things correct. I'm kind of in a groove now. <laughs> so now I, you're in the fine tuning. So. Yeah, exactly. And I'm having fun and I understand it a little bit more. It, it's kind of new every day for me from now till the competition. Oh, this is too bad. I'm excited about running into guys that I've been watching on YouTube and following on Facebook and I'm super excited about going to Reno. I like giving hugs. I know, you like giving her hugs. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Good.